Hey there guys and gals, Craven 600 again. Back at it again with another vlog and opening up a new series. So, this bike that you see right here is a 2006 Yamaha YZF-R6R. And you see my bike, my 2004, 2005 Yamaha YZF-R6S, R6R, sorry. Almost an S. Nope, it's definitely an R. Anyway, let me give you a little bit of backstory about this bike. So my buddy got it. For $2,300. The original asking price was $2,500. We bumped it down to $23. I was going to try and get it down to $22. Um, only because of the fact that we had some time to look at the bike and figure out what some of the issues were and, well, figure out what some of the issues weren't. Anyway, so 2006 Yamaha YZF-R6R. It's got 13,556 miles on it. If that, just a little bit less, it's got 13,000 on it, and I know that. And, uh, so we got to the place, and people were nice, and, uh, you know, we were contacting this person on Facebook for a little bit, talking to her, talking to the guy, trying to set up an appointment to go ahead and look at the bike, and my buddy's like, you know what? I got the money, let's go ahead and buy the bike. And, uh, and I said that's not a bad idea because if we know the bike starts, then we'll go ahead and buy it because then we know it's on an engine issue. So we get there and uh, we talk and we start looking at the bike and you can already tell a few things if you're looking at the toggle switch right next to the fork. That is supposed to be for the brake light. And... Uh, Let's go ahead and look under the seat. Those two loose wires are supposed to be for the headlights. So, we got there and uh, we changed out some of the stuff on the bike. And we were going there under the impression that the bike was dead, like the battery. So, we got there, we sat there, we bullshitted a little bit. Nobody had jumper cables, and then the guy hooked up the battery, hooked up the front lights to the battery, and I'm like, huh, that looks like it's got enough life to kick over. Let's go ahead and give it a try. So, she grabs the key. We uh, grab the key, put the key in the ignition, and uh, this is what we get. Fuel pump pumps on. We got a code 60 and a code 18. Code 18 stands for, there's a valve, and it's very common in a custom exhaust type of bike. Obviously, that is not stock, which is completely fine. I mean, you look at Tira, and you see a GP Shorty exhaust. Well, why can't this one have one? So, Code 18 stands for something is blocking the valve, the butterfly valve, inside the exhaust, right after the Y-pipe. There's supposed to be two cables that come off of the throttle bodies and the engine comes over and opens up the valve and allows air to pass through said exhaust pipe or prevents air from going up and causing backfire. Uh, it prevents backfire, sorry. Um, and then the code 60 is a throttle issue. Now, we had gotten the message earlier before we had gotten there said that the bike had died. And we're like, what do you mean the bike had died? Well, the bike is not running. Okay. And the guy that had was messaging us had told us it was a TPS sensor. And uh, it would make sense. It would. And I've got no doubt that it's a TPS sensor from what I've heard. I also have a second theory that the throttle bodies might be bad. So, this whole entire series, we are going to fix this bike, we are going to make it look good, and we are going to make it run. But, uh, for the time being, let's go ahead and listen to this. She doesn't start.
and I'm not going to start her again because then I'm going to throw out the starter and we're going to have to buy a new part. But, uh, she does run. I did hear her bike run yesterday when we got the bike. And, uh, nah. this is where I'm going to start my how-to video. My how-to series. This is going to wear... This is going to be where I start my rebuild series. So we're going to do two series in one. So if you guys are just now tuning in, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to be working here. And we're also going to be working in a garage for the uh, majority of the rest of it. Right now, what we're not doing today, but... We might be doing today. We're not doing it in this video. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know this is what our plan is for the bike. So, obviously, one, we're going to strip down the fairings. We're going to go ahead and strip it all the way down to the frame and the tires and make it a Street Fighter. That way we can get the tank off, get the seat off, get the rear seat off, get the fairings off. We're going to strip it all the way down to the mechanics. Now, after that, we are going to... basically rewire the wiring harness and figure out what's wrong with the wiring harness itself and then after that we're gonna go ahead and test out all the sensors make sure that all the sensors are working properly make sure that everything is where it needs to be because I can already tell that whoever had this bike before and I'm not talking about the people that we picked up the bike from they actually got the bike in this condition but the bike was running so, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the bike's engine. There's nothing wrong with the radiator. There's nothing wrong with the suspension. There's nothing wrong with the forks. So, we're going to be truly digging into this bike. And resurrecting it. Because when I turn that key and hit that ignition, you guys can already tell that this is a dead bike. This bike's name is Raven. We are going to be rebuilding her from the ground up. We might do something with the frame. We might do something with the swing arm. We're not entirely sure just yet. We are going to be getting new fairings. We are going to be new, uh, getting new covers. We're also going to be doing an oil change, Adafreeze flush, brake system flush. We are going to be rerouting a wiring harness. And that includes all sensors. We're going to strip the bike down. We're going to go ahead and get an air filter for it. And I guess we'll find out what's to come. When this bike is going to be finished, it's going to look brand new. It's going to be a 2006 Yamaha YZF-R6R still with 13,556 miles on it. And she's going to have LED lights. She's going to have brand new mirrors. Everything on this bike is going to be basically brand new. So... If you guys are interest, interested, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification button. That way you guys get notifications on this series and all of my other videos that I put out on my channel. Um, this series is going to be called Where's Raven? Um, my buddy, the guy who bought the bike, has decided to name the bike Raven. And it's R-A-V-E-N. No, it has nothing to do with Craven, but <laughs> hey, one can dream, right? It's not a bad looking bike. I do like the fairings. I like the setup. I can't wait to ride it. I can't wait to see what she's got. All right, guys. Well, I guys hope that you guys will enjoy this series and keep on Craven.